Hey folks, Pastor Forrest here. Um, home today with uh, a sick child who's super congested, but in a weirdly good mood for a kid who should be sick. Um, I, I want to give you just a heads up about this Sunday. Um, this Sunday we are starting, or I, I should say I'm going to start uh, preaching on the Gospel of Mark for a couple of weeks. You should be um, getting ready to, to read that right about now. Um, I can't remember exactly what date that gospel starts on, but I know you are, I believe at least you're reading the passages I'm going to preach on before I preach on them on Sunday. Uh, Mark is a really interesting gospel. It's the shortest of the gospels. It's also probably the oldest. Um, and it does some things kind of differently than the other ones. Um, but the, the particular stories I'm going to focus on this week are, are parables that Jesus told uh, about the kingdom of God. He's trying to tell his disciples what the kingdom of God is like. And, and um, the kingdom of God is not this thing that's up there in heaven that we experience after we die. Um, the kingdom of God is here and now. Uh, and what he's explained to his disciples is not what happens after they die, but rather um, what's going to happen after Jesus is raised from the dead and what the world, how how the kingdom of God is going to take the world by storm. Uh, it's really interesting stuff, and it's really quite foundational for the Christian faith. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm also looking forward to uh, the first of our confirmation classes on Sunday afternoon. Uh, I, I absolutely love uh, teaching the Bible and teaching the faith. That's one of my favorite things. It's it's uh, to me at least it's kind of one of the core parts of my calling to ministry. So I'm excited about that. And I've got one more week of my midweek Bible study before I take a break for a couple of weeks as we get into Lent. Uh, Ash Wednesday is on the 2nd. Uh, so there's a lot going on in our church right now. We're coming into sort of one of the busiest times of year. And for me, at least, the season of Lent is one of the most uh, spiritually enriching and, and, and important times of the year. So uh, I'm excited about the things that are coming up. Uh, I'm really looking forward to, to digging into the scriptures with you over the next few months. I hope your Bible reading plan is going well. Um, you know, we're, we're getting into the part where it kind of becomes a little difficult because you do get into the, the parts of Leviticus and, and the la latter part of Exodus, and they're kind of dry and dull. All I would encourage you to do is, as you're reading through those sort of lists of laws and things like that, um, Really pay close attention and try and keep your mind engaged by thinking about why is this law there? Why did God care about if they did this or that? Why does it matter? Because there is a lot to learn, right? Most of these laws are, are not in effect anymore because Jesus says he's coming. He's fulfilled the law. Um, but there is a lot to learn about who God is and who he wants us to be by reading these books. It's why they're still in the Bible, why they're still important. Um, and when we get into March, I'll preach on them a little bit, but you're going to be reading them. And I know, I know it's difficult, but there is a lot of rich stuff in there to pull out. Uh, it, it's a little challenging, but I want to encourage you just to stick with it and keep it up. Uh, if you miss a day, my advice is actually not to try and read the day and catch up, but rather just to skip it, cut your losses and move on. Um, because the important thing here is that you, you keep up with the reading plan as a whole and, and not fall too far behind. So it's easiest if you miss a day just to cut your losses and move ahead. Uh, I know that sounds counterintuitive, but trust me on this. Um, just do it. It's the best way to do this. Uh, I hope that you are actually finding this to be a really uh, edifying and enriching process and that you're really enjoying digging into the Word um, and that you're finding uh, new things in there that you didn't see before. So... Folks, I hope you have a blessed weekend. I'll see you all on Sunday.